far as long wearing goes, I don't think it's long wearing, but I'm not really the type of person that wakes up in the morning, does my makeup, and expects it to last until 11 o'clock when I'm at the club, you know what I'm saying? Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I wanted to share with you some of my natural beauty favorites that I have been loving. This is gonna be things from hair care to skin care and then a little bit of makeup as well. So if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe down below. My name's Jamie, I'd love to get to know you better over here on my community. All right, so let's start off with hair products. I got the chop, guys, chopped it all off. So with that, I have definitely been trying to, I've had to style it more, I've had to stay on top of washing it and um, it's just been, it's been a fun adventure. And so I have discovered some hair products that I've really been liking and these are all natural. These are affordable and they are available local for you guys as well. Thumbs up if you guys love affordable, local, uh, all natural products because I definitely do. So this is the Acure Ultra Hydrating Conditioner and it is like $9 at Target and this is the Acure Repairing Shampoo. So I got the Repairing Shampoo and the Hydrating Conditioner and they both smell like almonds almond oil. I feel like they're not too heavy on my hair and I don't really have any complaints about them. The next thing I've really been loving is this Acure Leave-In Conditioner. This smells so good you guys. It smells really earthy but kind of florally. It's not heavy on um, patchouli or anything like that. Some people really like that. I tend to stray a little bit away from patchouli. Um, it's not my favorite but I know a lot of all natural products really have a lot of that in there. This doesn't. It just is a really fresh, florally pretty scent. I spray it, I put it in my hair, and it's not over moisturizing. It doesn't leave an oily film, but it just kind of leaves my hair moisturized. I have definitely cut back on my skincare routine, the products I put on my face, since trying to be more simple and minimalistic, but also um, health conscious with the products I'm using on my face and my body. So the first thing I've been loving is this Levin Rose Rose Water. There's no preservatives, it's all natural, it's organic, and it's a rose water. It will not break your bank. I have tried rose waters before that are supposed to be amazing, and they're more expensive, and they didn't do a dang thing different than this did. I use that as a moisturizer. When I get up in the morning, I will just wipe my face with it. I will also use it um, after I take my makeup off at the end of the day, before I put my oil on. It's just so nice. It's a nice toner, it's a nice moisturizer. It's just really nice. The second product is also by Love & Rose, and this is their pumpkin seed oil. Now, I tried jojoba oil because I know it's supposed to be similar um, to like the oils that you have in your face, and it was a little too heavy for me. Um, I have also tried argan oil, and I kind of had the same reaction as well to that. And so I was reading up, and pumpkin seed oil came up. It's got amazing, amazing benefits for your skin. It balances my skin tone. It plumps my skin. I feel like it moisturizes my skin, but it is not oily by any means. Like it's an oil, but it doesn't feel oily on my skin. It sinks in and then it's, it's done, you know? So I love this pumpkin seed oil. This is amazing. This is definitely one of my favorite things to use on my face. The last face product that I love is by Acure. <laughs> you can tell I like them. It's available and affordable. Uh, this is their brightening face mask. I really like this. Um, forewarning, this is very green. <laughs> you put it on your skin and it is real, real green. This is just really nice if you just wanna have a nice mask and you want your face to feel fresh and rejuvenated. This is a good one. All right guys, so my last category is current makeup or cosmetics that I am using right now that I love. The first thing is this Eco Brow. This is kind of like a brow, it says defining wax, but I don't feel like it's waxy at all. It's a pomade, um, it's not as um, pigmented as the Anastasia pomade, which I'm okay with. Like it was so pigmented, I'd put it on and all of a sudden I'd have like this pin up eyebrow and I wasn't trying to do that. But it is it is really pigmented, it's affordable. This is in the color Sharon, which is their light, light brunette, more of like an ashy color. I really, really like this. It's what I have on my eyebrows right now. The next thing I've been loving is this pressed blush from Lily Lolo, which is another all natural company. This is in the color Just Peachy. And this color is 
everything. If I could pick one blush to have for my skin tone, it would be this color. It's what I have on right now. I feel like it just is the most natural color for me. As far as long wearing goes, <laughs> I don't think it's long wearing, but I'm not really the type of person that wakes up in the morning, does my makeup, and expects it to last until 11 o'clock when I'm at the club. You know what I'm saying? I've got kids. I'm at home with them, and so I don't have, I don't mind reapplying it a little bit um, during the day if I feel like I need a little bit more color. But I love the ingredients. I love the price tag on this. You'll notice a lot of the all natural beauty products I like are affordable because. That's where I'm at in life right now. All right, the last two things are both from Honest Co. This first item is their luminizing powder, and this is in the color Midnight Reflection. I thought this was a highlighter when I first purchased it, and it is not a highlighter. It could be used as a highlighter, I guess, if you just want something really subtle, which is usually what I go for. Um, but this, I would say, is much more of a luminizing setting powder. I use this to set underneath my eyes. I like the glow that it gives. One of the last videos I did, someone was asking about my skin, it looks like it's glowing. It's not, it's just this. This stuff is amazing. The last thing that I have is also from Honest Beauty and this is just their little eyeshadow palette. This is all that I need. All the things I need in this one palette. It's just these three colors, but I honestly, in the fall especially, I will do my eyes simple and then I'll wear more of like a, a darker lip. This is in the Warm Sable Brown Trio and I really like this. All right guys, so those are all my current beauty, non-toxic favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below and share some of your favorites. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day and I'll see you guys later.